Hi, um, so, it turns out that I thought I was recording, but I didn't, so I've been recording about uh, 10, uh, recording about 10 minutes of this, look, I'm at, I'm at day 12, um, and it turns out wasn't a recording, so, Let's, let me fill you in. So, so far, we've um, we found this cat in a bandit town. Um, we've got two soup, one uh, water, the gun's fine. We've got a Boy Scout thing, a radio, and a gas mask. Mary Jane has gone outside and took the poison with her. And I have a new mic here. As you can see, it is a very nice mic. And... Yeah, that pretty much all that you've missed. Um, Mary Jane Mouse, I no no news is good news, there's nothing going on. The new with Timmy, Ted's fine, Wallace is fine, yeah, everything's fine. We keep sitting on our backsides here in this tiny little bunker, or we can start thinking about how to get away as far as possible from this radioactive wasteland. Who would have thought the Reds would have ruined such a lovely neighborhood? We could do it on our own, the escaping part. Not the ruining part, of course. However, one However, there might be someone out there who can help us. Let's keep our eyes. Yep. Let's keep our eyes and ears open, peeps. Ah, okay. So she's fine now. She's just thirsty. He's thirsty. And Timmy's thirsty. Sharikov. That's right. The cat's name Sharikov. Oh, wait, what? You, we knew it. The government has not fallen. They, they come in to save us. They didn't give us exact dates in the radio transmission, but we're sure they won't keep us waiting long. They say we'll be in touch in a couple of days. Okay. Fine, I'll give you all drinks, you thirsty rabbits. Let's just hope Mary, uh, Mary Jane gets back soon. Um, She's not back yet. Oh, God, what happened to your... Oh, you're tired. She's tired. They're all tired. Why are you all tired? You should sleep. And Sharikov's fine. <laughs> really tired, really tired, really tired, really tired, really tired. Good news, everyone! <gasps> Quick! Professor Farnsworth! I love him. He's, he's incredible. Good news, everyone! <laughs> Good news, everyone. The government just announced they will be dropping crates filled with supplies in our area. Finally, they're used for something. No, uh, uh, I don't know. I mean, there'll be other people trying to get it as well as us. But, uh, we might as well. There's no, no harm in it. I think we managed to get it. The airdrop crate we found wasn't exactly huge. But it contained a few supplies that would definitely help us. We were especially happy to see some water <laughs> bottle notes. To find some water bottles and food cans for a minute, we thought it was canned beet, but then we found out it was tomato <laughs> soup. Our theory is that the whole country used to run used to run on tomatoes, and no one suspected the thing. Like a good scouting is Tim's fine, or she's fine, Ted is fine. Mary, oh crap! Oh, Mary Jane's back. What? Mary Jane, look at this. Seven, seven cans. A padlock. We got four, 4.25 bottles of water. Seven cans. Um. A map. A what? <gasps> you can draw on the map. Okay, we are right here. Yep, we got... Poor diet will start taking its toll in about 10 days. Uh, poor radio. And so you're thirsty and tired, you're starvation and tired, you're thirsty and tired, you're thirsty, hungry and tired. Okay, I'll feed everyone now. They say ignorance is bliss. Another day without any clue of what's going on might not necessarily kill us. Nothing made us happier than the sight of Mary Jane returning to the shelter from the, sh from the surface. If we had to pick our favorite day of the week, it would be Saturday before the bombing. Saturday was a time of relaxing and enjoying it, like, like bribing Mary Jane with cookies so she stopped playing the tuba, gossiping about the neighbors, and, of course, bowling. Looks like it's the, looks like the bowling alley is still sitting. Yabba-dabba-doo. 
Yeah, what? Yeah, but, what? Yabba dabba doo! What was it? Scooby dooby doo? <laughs> the bar didn't have much to offer. Some rotten salads, a bunch of burnt peanuts, and for some reason the cowboy hat. We were happy to find some secret stash of cute cans. So three cans, two water, one padlock. We didn't bring the spray back. Oh crap, no, 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 no. Soup, soup. There we go, that works. There you go. Who should go outside? Timmy, you're a brave boy. You go outside, Tim Tim. Tim Tim, you show him what's, who, show him who's boss. Okay, you're all just tired now. Okay, you're both hungry, even though I fed both of you, but you know. When we answered the phone, we could clearly hear the, the gasp of relief from the caller. They introduced themselves as survivors from the nearby town of Hill Valley. <gasps> it's Marty McFly! <laughs> we had started exchanging information when the call was cut short. Something was going on the side. It was okay for Timmy. Nah, I'm not giving you anything. Oh. Everyone's like chances of death. Let's keep, let's keep the cat. Oh look, Timmy's fine. Timmy's just hungry. The rest of them are just tired. Fine, I'll give all of you food. I'm sorry. Wait, who was who, who was thirsty? You're tired. You're tired. You're hungry. You're hungry. So no one's thirsty. I won't give anyone water then. Wait, whoa, hey. You don't need it. Timmy's fine. <laughs> Timmy seems enthusiastic. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I got a new mic, so that's why my voice sounds different. It, it, let me know if it sounds better or worse in the comments below, or if you don't want it, it's fine. <laughs> um, Timmy! Oh crap, he didn't take anything. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> no, Timmy! Tim Tim, no, Timmy! Oh. Fine, everyone has food and water. Not food. No, 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 no food. We have a working radio, why not use it? Yeah, catch a broadcast or two. Yeah, yeah, okay. Someone's knocking on the door. Oh, look, it's ammo. Why is there ammo there? Oh yeah, yeah. I'm sorry that this video started abruptly, as I said before. Um, some friendly soul on the radio was talking about a supply pack she'd lost during a trip through our, our town. We immediately realized she must have driven through our street. We rushed out and got to the package before anyone else. Oh, that's why Ammo's there. Um, are you not gonna talk? Yeah, there we go. There's a man at our doorstep and he wants to be our friend. At least that's what he says. He looks harmless, although he seems to have acquired an extra pair of arms as a result of some weird mutation. He assures us we will not, he, we will not get sick and asks for our help if we could provide him and his group with some supplies. They would repay us by helping us fight off the next raiding party that comes away. Yeah, I guess. We've got enough soup. I guess it's a good thing. It feels, uh, it feels too good to have some friends in this cruel empty wasteland. I feel that supplies is a small price to pay when it comes to safety of your family. Everyone's fine. Wait, who's hungry? You're hungry. You're hungry. Ted's fine. Ted has no problems at all. Oh! I always rush ahead. Oh. God damn it. Excuse me? Why is there so much water and stuff now? Was that always there? Oh, it must have been. Alright. Huh. Well, we've been hearing some soft scratchy noises in the shelter all at night. We thought it was just the wind. We were wrong. It's the cat. It's not really doing anything naughty. It just seems like it squeezes through some holes in the wall and makes its way outside. We're not sure where it goes during these secret trips, but every morning we're back in the shelter and like nothing happens. Should we follow it next time we there? Don't follow it! Actually, yeah, maybe. Yeah. Follow it. No. 
Oh! Okay, we don't have to cat anymore. Alright. Sherikov took us to an old junk row that's inhabited only by a lone resident. A self proclaimed scientist living in an old bus, converted into a lab to conduct his experiments. The dog seemed happy to have his pet back, although the cat showed, showed no enthusiasm about the prospect. We exchanged some small talk, but the truth be told, we were kind of in a hurry to get out of there. The scientist didn't seem completely sane. He mentioned something about escaping the wasteland in a spaceship. So we don't have the cat anymore. Everything is shaking, cans are jumping all over the place. It's happened after with the drunk, delicious wife of the ship. For a supper a few weeks back, it would be perfectly normal. It's either another nuke or a quake. Either way, we need to grab something before everything gets smashed to pieces. The radio, the radio is more important than the gas mask. The gas mask broke, didn't it? Yep. Okay then. Yeah. Everything's fine. Damn it, that gas mask of ours is worthless. Wearing it probably increases the chance of inhaling something awful. Maybe we should try and fix it a bit. Yeah, try and fix it. Oh, Timmy. Oh my god, Timmy. T Timmy. T T Tim, Tim, Tim. Timmy, Tim, Timmy. You brought back an axe? Some water, a first aid kit. Oh, and the gas mask is fixed. We had the best intentions, but something went terribly wrong. The damn mask just fell, just fell apart. We can't do much with that trash. When we woke up today, we discovered that Sherikov somehow found its way back to our shelter. Does that mean that it will stay for good? We're not sure. What exactly transpired between the guy and Tona? We asked, but he wouldn't tell. We were so afraid for Timmy, but he came back from most kind of and is safe with us now. We believe that our expedition to the West End is the first followed by strangers. We should be less cautious next time. Um, yeah, so we got uh, two water, a med kit, an axe. One of the Viper Hospital buds had a gas mask hanging on it along with a night where Where this patient's not really bad. Oh, the gas mask was from Tim Tim. Timmy, you deserve as much as you want. I can't everyone's going to get one. But, uh, who should go outside? Um, who's fine? Timmy, no, not Tim, Ted, John, Dolores, Dolores, you go, Dolores, you go. What? Oh, no one's dead, alright. The young man was assisted by a group of other survivors, all armed but really friendly. We found this girl, threw her a weapon and fought off the bandits guarding the exit. Siblings were happy to be reunited, reunited but also very confused. Turns out the bandit leader was actually their father. It's a crazy small world we live in. <laughs> anyway, they were really thankful and promised to contact us again soon. We were glad to see Dolores come back from the wasteland. It's better when we, um, he did, she didn't give us anything. She didn't, she didn't get anything. During the night, we heard some suspicious sounds coming from behind our door. When we peeked out in the morning, we saw a leather suitcase. It had no address or name on it. We're pretty sure it was meant for us. Should we open it? It could be a bomb or, you know, like... Okay, yeah, do it. You never know. It could be something good. Oh, God, that's not good. She's sick. Oh, no. That was... Oh, God. And so, it goes we found some soup. But yuck, it expired a long time ago. We're not feeling very well. Some of us spend the whole morning using the bucket in the corner. We're not accepting anonymous gifts ever again. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry. Give her med kit and give her everyone food and water. You should take... Nothing. Enough sitting around, it's time to visit the surface of the vision fries, maybe something by bars, maybe something like that. Just saying I was reading this, so don't be weird about me going blah 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 blah. <laughs> the map, the deck of cards, the boy scout handbook. I reckon the axe. So Mary Jane's fine again. Yep. Day 29. 
I ration supply. No, I'm not gonna ration anything yet. Curiosity almost killed the cat. Sheriko found a tiny wire sticking out from the ceiling and pulled it out. Pl pl plast plaster. Bleh. Plaster and debris fell out on our table. Topped off with a big meowing furball. What is this thing anyway? Nobody remembers it being there before. The cat might get angry if we take it away the wire. So maybe the best of it should be examined away. What do you mean? Should. Yes or no? Sh like. Leave it be or examine it? Yes. Yes, examine it, I guess. One of you's gonna die, but yeah, okay. No, everything's fine. We followed the White House heading for a half buried out truck with two surprised gentlemen inside. We're surrounded by an art array of blinking bulbs. That's some space tech right there. Were they listening to us in our very own shelter? Their feeble excuse about a roadside picnic didn't convince us. Even Timmy knows that you can't have picnics here and the car has no wheels. No joke, he's worried. Timmy, my, he's fine. Dolores is fine. The agents who are spying on us are now at the door and wonder what's going on. Should we hear them out? Yeah, explain. It. Yeah. Hear them out. Oh, they're knocking on the door now. They briefly waved some sort of ID cards in front of our faces and told us they were on top secret government mission that the lighter wasn't to spy on us but rather on the cat. It's suspected of being a Soviet agent. They're willing to let us into the super top secret government safe house if we if we we help them on some of their missions. So they showed us that they contract they contact us to give them more details. What? The cat's looking at me. He's just like, huh? I've done it now. They found out. Oh god. Yeah, yeah, whatever. whatever. A traveling salesman paid us a visit today. He, he introduced himself as Willie. Apparently, business can do well after the end of the world. Offers one soup in exchange for a deck of cards, one water in exchange for a checkers board. One offers two soup in exchange for get. No, I don't want to do that. No, I I've got enough food, soup and um, water. Oh, is that Ted? That's Ted. Oh, you got a flashlight and the check. You got the checkers. Yes. That says me very friendly, but he didn't have anything that was of interest to us. The proud Ellison Hotel was completely destroyed. Okay. Uh, only that. Oh, I lost the axe. Yeah. You deserve. Only you, not. Oh, okay. Only you. No, we don't need it. Today, the music from the radio stopped abruptly, and instead, we got listened to the transmission of the army. We're almost halfway to the door when they started talking about ev evacuation. But it turns out there was something we needed to do first. All the stars asked to leave a sign that we're alive in the area. Yep. All right, good. We're all good. We're all good. Quick glance at the map gave us all the information we required. We left them a message in the bottle. How are you all feeling? Ted is no. Oh. How are you all? Hungry, tired, fatigued, fatigued, hungry, tired, fatigued, and fatigued. Okay, I'm just gonna give food to Timmy and Ted. Yes, fine. Traitor alert! Timmy's salvage comic books are almost harmless science fiction pop ever. Some of them don't feature the brave Astro Citizen program astronauts, but cosmonauts. That boy is eating up Soviet propaganda. What a disgrace. Should we banish Timmy to the wasteland for his. No! He's reading a comic book! Oh, sorry. Sorry, I bumped him. Sorry. Sorry about that. We graciously, well, graciously allowed Timmy to stay in the shelter. Despite his actions, we believe in the power of rehabilitation and second chances. Also, we're running out of toilet paper, and these propaganda books will do nicely. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. What do you need? I'll just do this. I might as well. Let's say 34. Dolores, you just go outside. Be back soon. Okay, you actually went out this time. Oh no, we're out of soup. 
Mary Jane isn't worried, or at least she's not saying that out loud. Tim's fine. Tom's fine. Tim Tom Tom. Day 36. Being stuck in such a tiny shelter would make anyone a bit apathetic. We need to stay calm and await the rescue. Surely they're coming for us, right? Mary Jane is feeling safe. Who wouldn't in this coffin-sized shelter? Like the good scouty is Tim is making the best of the situation. There's got much going on Ted. The siblings are back. Their group grown bigger with each passing day. As they picked up tired and hungry survivors and nursed them back to health. Now, so far they only have one tent and soon they'll run out of space for everybody. Right now, the scout in the town looking for a good spot to build a big camp. They could easy, really use a map. Oh no, we need the map. I'm sorry. We really need the map. No, I'm not going to give you the map. I'm sorry. Who's a cat? So happy. They might be friendly, but it isn't really worth it. We only have one map and it's way too precious to us. They will have to find their own. Getting something the drink is what I need. Yeah, yeah, blah, blah. Timmy and Mary Jane are need to have physical exercise. Letting them run outside the wasteland is a bit too adventurous. But they could play tag inside the shelter. Yeah, yeah, okay. Alright. Nothing happened, okay. It's all fine. We should have seen it coming. Mary Jane and Timmy ran around way too fast and the before because all of them they crashed into each other to fell again. Causing the spice to fly in every possible direction and they don't look guilty at all. They seem more cheerful good for them, but now someone have to clean up this mess. Get them water. Fine Who should go outside again? Oh, using a high tech setup involving paper cups and the artists of string, the agents rang in with our next top secret mission that will surely land us in the VIP bunker very soon. They want us to go on one successful expedition right then what we saw in the journal. Easy peasy lemon squeezy, right? Um What's everyone's mental health? You're dehydrated, tired and fatigued, you're dehydrated and fatigued, you're dehydrated. It must have to it, it'll have to be Mary Jane. Because she's only dehydrated and fatigued. It must have been tired, so I'll do Mary Jane. Okay, both the girls are out. Hang on, hang on, hang on. It's, it's Ted and Timmy time here. So, son, how have you been? <laughs> Fine, I'm just a bit... Tired and fatigued. Just a bit tired and fatigued. How about you? Hungry, tired, and fatigued. Okay. This is stupid. Alright. Um, yeah, yeah, okay. Everything's fine. So, like, you're tired and fatigued. Right. We discussed everything we could. Yep, let's just do this. Day 40. Oh, how fortunate we took the radio with us. We can probably listen to some music. They still play music out there, don't they? See, so might look like it. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. All hands on deck. There are people on the other side of the door. They don't seem too friendly. In fact, they promised us a painful death at least seven ti 17 times already. And it's only been five minutes since they have arrived. We better prepare. They'll be forcing that door any minutes. <laughs> Padlock it! Okay, I got two achievements just then. Um, but okay. We've taken a stand and to show these bandits who's in charge here. We're hoping they won't come back with more friends than some other time. We didn't think that small padlock would stop them, but it turned out to be enough to discourage the unknown attackers. It seems that they gave this whole break in a fair shot, but we ultimately gave up and left. Too bad that padlock is in no shape to be used again. We need to think of other ways to fight off the bandits and other soup hungry barbarians. Yep. Alright. But are you sick again? You're hurt. We don't have a med kit. Um. Delor I need to wait for Dolores to come back. Timmy has been sitting there just staring into space. Is something wrong? Maybe we could. Yeah, have a, have a little chat with him. 
It would be better to have a little chat with him, because, yeah. Oh, Dolores! Oh, okay, I'm getting worried now. Dolores isn't here. We're out of food and water. We're out of food and water. No, we're not. We're out, no, we're not out of water. Take all the water, guys. This is day four. No, hang on. Are any of you thirsty? Dehydrated. Dehydrated. Great. This is just terrific. Am I right? All right. Ted's gonna. No, I'm not letting anyone go outside. Uh... To get rid of their firearms. No, not doing it. No. I need my gun. My gun is. Oh god, he's sick. Oh god, he's sick. Oh no, he's sick. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god, Timmy, you better not. Oh, come on, Dolores, come back. Oh, I'm still trying to break in and then I'll learn a bit to get ready. Yeah, yeah, gun. Come on, you got this, sick Ted. Sick Ted. Yeah, you got this. See, oh god, the gun. Oh god. <laughs> what happens to that gun? I got. <laughs> I swear, like. We'll be able to defend ourselves, but what if they come back? Played spare ammo. Came in handy. Yep. 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 Uh huh. We have to wait for Dolores to come back. Dolores, where's Dolores? So we may have been, we may be dehydrated, starving, terribly injured, deathly sick, and going insane. But that's no reason to kick anyone out. A family that survives an atomic blast together stays together. That's the motto. And we'll stick to it with each other until the bitter end, which is coming fast. We might all die tomorrow. <laughs> Um, oh god, okay, everyone just drink, okay, Timmy, wait, was it that Timmy needed it? Midrain, I'll give it to Timmy just because he's the only healthy one. Wait, no, that's, that's a bad excuse, give it to Ted. Give it to Ted because he's, if he dies then I can't play anymore, right? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it because um, we're out of water and food, and if Dolores doesn't come back soon, then yeah. We had the most curious visitors today. One of them were making it sound like a galloping horse and using a pair of rocks and hitting them against each other while his companion was pretending to ride said horse. They claim to be on a very important quest to seek their magical cup. I don't care about these loonies. No, Dolores is dead. I, I, Dolores is good. Dolores is dead, isn't she? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give it to. Oh, I don't have anything. Just let Timmy go outside. Yeah. Where? What? I think Mary Jane um went out of rage because there was no water. Yep. Hang on. When Mary Jane found out she's not getting a single drop of water, she got furious. She stormed out into the wasteland, shouting over her shoulder that, that we'll regret this and that she. Um, yeah, okay. Um, paid us a visit, asking the open map of the town and shouted they could become beer. Yeah, fine, whatever. I'm gonna die anyway, so. Oh, look at him, he's. Oh, God. We're happy to see them again. We hand him a map. Ted is rested. I can't give them. Oh, we can't give them anything. We can't give them anything. We. Oh God. I. Oh no. We don't have anything to give. We don't have anything to give. The end. Oh God. No, I fixed the rifle. No! Yeah. Yeah. 50 days. Alright. That's my record. 50 days. And that... You perished. I understand I perished. Oh, hat. Whoop. There you go. There's the thing. I'm gonna move my head around. Oh! They survived 50. Um, water consumed 12. Soups consumed 10. Times defended your shelter 2. Yes, decisions 8. No decisions 2. 
successful expedition seven out of nine. Yeah, Dolores and Timmy died, I think. Items brought from Imperial Expeditions seventeen. And that I'm gonna end there. Seeing as how I started, but I started at um day twelve, but I actually started from the beginning, but like it didn't work. Um I think I did pretty well for day fifty. Um but yeah, let me know if you like this m new mic that I got. Um, yeah, let me know if you want to see more 60 seconds, or if you want to see 60 paraseconds, parasecs, sorry, because I do own that. I am, I do in fact own it, um, yeah, it's, uh, whoops, yeah, here it is here, 60 parasecs, I do own it, as well as 60 seconds. Um, but yeah. So, as I, as always, if you like this video, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe and click the notification bell to get notified when new uploads. Um, and... Yeah, I will see you in the next video. See ya!